I started my day with some homemade broth and the fact that this is going to gross you guys out just brings me so much joy. I drink it while getting some morning sun. My new favorite soup. Carnivores, omnivores, herbivores. These are the three generally accepted groups of animals on this planet. And you'd think, with there being so many humans, we would fit in to one of those categories. But with our human need to constantly feel different, we decided we're, we're not going to follow that, all right? Sorry. Now, I'm sure you've heard of vegans, vegetarians, the keto diet, people who love the raw diet, all of these different ways of living that restrict the way you eat. And one of the newer ones, with the rise of people like Carnivore MD and the Liver King, has been people who identify as carnivores. Now, I'm not saying like people who joke around saying they only eat meat. I'm talking about people who genuinely do not allow plants to enter their body, including the lady we're going to be talking about today, it's Courtney Luna, a TikToker who uh, only allows herself to pretty much eat steak and butter and cheese. Now look, I don't care what you eat, I don't care if you're a vegan or a carnivore, that's your private business, but when you take it online and then you start trying to convert people to only eating hamburgers, then you've opened yourself up to questions. And well, that's where I come in. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Alright, sorry for the elevator music, had to get rid of some copyrighted music, you know TikTok. But here we have some results from 7 weeks on a carnivore diet. Lost 15 pounds, feel better mentally, better sleep, and you know what? I don't doubt it. It's been 7 weeks. You've started a new diet, you've changed the way you're eating, you've lost weight, of course you're gonna feel better about yourself. Does that mean eating only meat is necessarily healthier? No, but you're on a diet, so you're probably subconsciously eating less because you know you're supposed to be on a diet, and that's probably what's actually actually led to the weight loss, not the fact that you're only eating meat. But once again, it's it's only been seven weeks. You might be feeling good now, but you eat nothing but red meat for the next 10 years. Your heart is going to be begging for mercy. My new favorite soup. I cooked one pound of ground pork. I just seasoned mine with salt, but feel free to use a breakfast sausage. Drain out all that grease. And then I added this gelatinous homemade beef bone broth. I warmed that up a little bit so I could dump it in. I love the little blob. And stir it up, warm it up, then add in one cup of cream cheese. Add salt to taste. And I like to top my soups with a dollop of sour cream. I mean this in genuinely the nicest way I think I can mean it. I would not even allow this near my dogs, much less feed it to them. This is meat cereal, ma'am. Milk, ground beef, and sour cream with a little salt. That sounds like one of the worst things you could make ever. Seriously, this is just silly. It makes me hope that these accounts are just satire. A few seasonings, maybe like a potato, some broccoli, something to make this an actual soup, I promise is going to hurt you less than a dollop of sour cream. I mean, seriously, what has made people on the internet all of a sudden afraid of garlic powder? I started my day with some homemade broth, and the fact that this is going to gross you guys out just brings me so much joy. I drink it while getting some morning sun. All right, look, I'm not trying to psychoanalyze over the internet. However, there is a very real phenomenon of people enjoying getting attention from angering people or shocking people. This seems like that might be one of those cases. I mean, really, it brings you so much joy that people are grossed out that you're drinking animal broth in place of your morning coffee. I mean, okay maybe find more things to do. And like, nobody's actually getting worked up over this. If anything, I'm angry over the fact that you have been led by people on the internet with big followings to believe that eating nothing but red meat is a healthy way to live and that you are now adding to that issue. I cooked a steak for my husband and had a few bites of that and then we shooby dooby down to Ruby's. Met some family for lunch and I had a burger patty for two ninety nine. And later, for an early dinner, I cooked up half pound burger patties and while those were cooking i fried up some bread cheese which was phenomenal i had one of the half pound patties some bread cheese i actually had six pieces 
some kefir, and my organ supplements. Okay, so I'm not even going to address the fact that someone out there believes that a fried burger patty and fried cheese and a glass of whole milk is healthy for a dinner, but it always makes me laugh when people who eat non-conventional diets are always like, oh, my body gets everything it needs, blah, 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 it's so healthy, and then they have to down like seven supplements with every meal. Look, I don't care if you're a vegan or a carnivore, eat whatever you want but please don't make it about health, make it about a personal preference. If you have to eat 14 supplements a day for your body to get what it needs with your current diet, your diet's not about health. I broke my fast with homemade broth, had a burger with goat cheese and organ supplements, and for dinner I cooked up some tri-tip in my air fryer and I ate two of those dipped in butter. Look, I love steak. If you ask me any day of the week what my favorite food is, it's gonna be steak. If I go to a nice restaurant, I'm getting a steak. However, I can realize that steak, three meals a day, seven days a week, isn't exactly optimal, okay? Can we all agree on that at least? Eating red meat once or twice a week, you're gonna have no issues. Don't take that as medical advice, I'm not a doctor, but you're gonna have no issues, okay? Eating it 21 times a week, you might start running into problems. I mean, this is genuinely the problem with guys like Carnivore MD and the Liver King. I mean, you've got a guy who's a doctor and a guy who looks like a retired IFBB pro telling you that eating nothing but red meat every day of the week is amazing. And they have millions of followers, so you start to think, well, if all these people follow him, they can't be wrong, right? And this is how you end up eating like this. I know that the Liver King makes TikTok a lot of money, but if they're going to deplatform people like that vegan teacher, then it's hypocritical to not deplatform people like the Liver King. They're both giving out insane diet advice. This is what we order when we head to Five Guys for a carnivore-friendly dinner. It is much cheaper to order solo patties. They're only $2.10 each. My husband even got some free cheese on his. I get mine plain. They are really delicious. They don't add any salt, so you need to grab some packets and add it yourself. I always feel the need to eat burger patties with my bare hands, but it was super hot. So I grabbed a fork and I dug right in. So delicious. Go give them a try. Funnily enough, this is probably the most healthy thing we've seen them eat this entire video. Five guys for a burger place is pretty good health-wise, for a burger place obviously. And there's no cheese and stuff, which I'm wondering why is cheese conveniently included in a carnivore diet? Cheese is not meat. This does not really seem like a carnivore diet. This seems more like a uh, I want to eat the tasty things diet. I love making these cheese wraps. They hold up really well so you can meal prep and have a whole batch in your fridge. Fill them with your favorite fillings and roll it up. And to make it, I use two slices of cheese and toast it for about five minutes. All right, Courtney, so if you ever see this, I have a question. If you're really doing this for health, which you say you are, why would you eat this over, say, like a lettuce wrap with turkey and cheese on the inside? Do you think that this is healthier than that? And if so, how do you justify that? I'm really asking. For and keto-friendly pizza, add three-fourths of a pound of cooked chicken to a food processor. Add a large pinch of salt. I used a cheese blend, but you can use regular shredded parm. Add in half a cup and two eggs. Blend it all up real good. This should be the consistency. Put a piece of parchment paper on your pizza stone or a cookie sheet. Spread it out real thin. I ended up putting another piece of parchment paper and taking my rolling pin to it. You want it as thin as you can. The literal definition of pizza includes a dough base. We're not even off of step one yet, and we've already lost the pizza aspect of pizza. I have a feeling, just a funny feeling, this is not gonna actually turn out to be a pizza. And then bake that for 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It will be firm and a little golden brown on the edges. Then add your sauce of choice. I made an Alfredo for ours. Spread it all out and then you're going to add your toppings and your mozzarella cheese and bake it again for about 10 minutes and cut it all up. Hopefully you do a better job than I did. And I thought it was really good. If you guys make it, let me know what you think. You know, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. I think it gets the job done. Did I like miss something? 
in the third grade when we were learning about the food pyramid is alfredo sauce a type of meat i mean are there any actual restrictions to this diet or is it just eat what i want and call it carnivore at least vegans and vegetarians have actual lines they draw i mean you go through the trouble of not using bread but then you bring in mozzarella cheese and alfredo sauce two-thirds of this dish is not meat so i'm just going to quickly wrap up my thoughts about all this courtney once again if you ever see this this is not like an attack on you because i don't think these are your ideas you talked in some of your older videos that i watched that you've been watching videos and seeing all these tiktoks about how being a carnivore is better which i assume is why you decided to start trying to live this way uh this is more of an issue of the people on tiktok who are spouting this nonsense is eating meat bad no of course it's not is eating nothing but meat bad Yes, your body needs vegetables, your body needs greens, these are just things your body needs. I mean, nobody bats an eye when people say that vegetarians need meat. It's just the same, people who only eat meat need some spinach every now and then. You know, some broccoli every once in a while. If it's working for you now, that's great, I'm happy for you. But hopefully you realize that eating like this is not sustainable for the rest of your life. Well guys, every day I'm starting to believe more and more that a TikTok ban might have been a decent idea. I mean think about it right now it is easier than in any other point in human history to spread misinformation that's kind of scary if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it it's free it won't cost you anything but for now that's all i have for you today bye Subscribe.